What's going on guys? It's Raul TV back at you with a, another video. This one's a good one. You'd love this one. What it is, I've got a Vauxhall Corsa 2009 plate, 2010 plate, Corsa D, put it that way, Corsa D. And it's a 1.3 CDTI Ecoflex diesel engine, right? It's coming to the garage twice now. It's coming to the garage. It's saying that it doesn't crank over. Basically, turn the engine, nothing happens. It doesn't click, it doesn't do nothing. So, uh, we're gonna run through it, step by step, and uh, I'm gonna show you a little trade secret to this. Okay, first things first, obviously the, it's not cranking over at all. When you turn the key over, not cranking over at all. So, what I did is, I checked the fuses, see if there's power on all the fuses. Every single fuse, it looks absolutely perfect, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Right, the next thing I checked was the starter motor. I even went and replaced the starter motor. Uh, checked, checked, it, uh, checked the starter motor, replaced the starter motor, still will not crank over. Right, then what I did, as you can see, I've took all the cowling off, all the paneling off, everything on the inside, uh, where the ignition switch goes, check the power there, right, and um, there's power coming out from the ignition switch. Wires here, everything, power coming out from the ignition switch, uh, so it cannot be the ignition switch still won't crank over right so what I did next through all the Google and everything I've been through all the forums and everything nobody has come up uh, come across this one uh, basically they said it could be the ECU it could be this it could be that so many people have changed the uh, I think the what did I say the E26 E26 fuse and everything uh, E26 relay doesn't really do anything basically yeah what the problem is is the fuse box the problem is on the fuse box so you can go ahead and replace the full fuse box get a second hand one if you want which is uh, gonna cost you a bit of money and everything or you could do this the first thing you have to do is, is get yourself a probe tester or a circuit tester probe tester will be better because you can give direct power direct earth negative and everything to the fuse right the first thing we have to do is we check through all the fuses i checked it before and all the fuses are all right but this one fuse is deceiving basically if you this one here which is number let me see if i can see the number it's number 21 fuse yep number 21 fuse here if you look at the if i'm, I'm looking straight at the uh, fuse box and it's this one here yep just get turn the light on you can see it properly it's this one here the top one here yeah I've done the repair to this anyway so I'm just gonna go through it see as you can see I've touched one side it says negative yeah uh, the green lights come on touch the other side it says earth as well so what's supposed to happen is when you turn the ignition on right and when you start in the car up that should turn into positive it should turn live basically Right, so that is not getting live. So, and, and that fuse there that controls basically the starter, the uh, the uh, the fuel maybe going in the immobilizer basically. It controls the immobilizer and it controls the power going into the starter. So, what we're going to do is this here, this one on this side, that's an empty fuse holder. Yeah, that's got live ignition live going to that fuse holder. It's uh, at the moment you'll see. It's, uh, it's uh, negative. Phil, you want to turn the ignition on for us, please, mate? Just the ignition on. So what Phil's going to do now, he's going to turn the ignition on. You watch that light. Yeah, ignition on. It's, it's turned to live. So what we're going to do is we're going to link a wire from that. As you can see what I've done here. One wire from here all the way to that one here. Exactly the way you can see it there. If you want to take a picture of that, and when you come to doing it, just do it exactly the same as that. So basically now that here should be live. Yeah? Turn the ignition off, Phil. Off. off. So that's turned to negative. Ignition on. Back to positive again. That's what it's supposed to be doing. If I take that wire off, that's not going to be doing that. So turn the uh, ignition off one more time. Turn it back on. Start it up for us, Phil. Happy days. And that's it, the car is running. I mean, so many garages, they might say, oh, you might need this, you might need that and everything. But first things first, obviously, it's a process of, process of elimination. 
you go check the uh, uh, ignition switch, check the starter motor like we did, it still didn't do it, then obviously, like I said, this, this fuse here is deceiving because when I come to check it, it was negative and negative on both sides, which means it's okay. But actually that fuse is supposed to have a positive, sorry, negative, but when, once you start it up, it's supposed to turn positive. So I like you see there, because it's gone red. So when I turn it off now, turn it off, Phil. It's gone to neutral, like uh, uh, earth basically. So that's what we need to do. Basically you need to link this white, uh, this fuse here, what I'm pointing at now, that will be vacant. It will be uh, uh, empty basically. Right, so what, what, what we're going to do is we're going to put a 10, 10 amp fuse or 20 amp fuse on this one. So basically that one makes it contact here. And from there we just link a wire onto this one. Exactly the way I've done it there. And that's it. I've also checked the battery and everything on this car uh, before doing anything. Obviously we put the booster on it, put the uh, jump leads on it, if you've got jump leads, whatever. Make sure, I mean sometimes if you've got a flat battery it will do that so make sure you check the battery first then if it's still doing that then go on to this basically that's all we do um, if the car is not cranking over cranking over meaning not turning over uh, if it's turning over that means that, that fuse is doing its job the starter is doing its job it could be something else it could be a crank sensor it could be uh, it could be the inject it could be anything right uh, but if it's not even turning over basically when you turn the key over and it's not doing nothing basically dead no sound no nothing uh, then it's that most likely it will be that check that one out anyway guys hope that helps you guys out uh, I've not seen another video on uh, regarding this matter on YouTube or anything, so this will be a first. Anyway guys, like, share and subscribe to my channel guys, hit that bell button for me, hit that notification button for me, and I will see you guys soon.